Hi guys, I thought I'd do a, a, a real quick um, update on cleaning the canvas. Um, I'm not sure if you can pick it up. Let's see. But there's a lot of silicone on the uh, on the surface here. So what I do is take a wet sponge. I put on the uh, Dawn dish soap. We call it Dreft, but you guys call it Dawn. And I just put it uh, on the uh, canvas. We all know if you have good quality, um, good quality acrylic paint, this will be waterproof. So make sure you do the sides also. Just let it get in there a little. And break down the silicone. There it is. Let it get in there. Okay, let me clean the sponge. So when it's um, had time to do that, I just um, do it again like this, then rinse it off and then do that again and I do that three times and I've the experience tells me that that's enough let me put it under the tap as you can see I rinse it I rinsed it off and now I have to clean this again Okay, that is done. So, one more time. That's it. The sides. And as you can see, there's no paint coming off. It is totally waterproof. And I just let that rest for a little bit. Just like that. Now I'm going to rinse it again. Nice and clean. See, nothing comes off so don't be worried and if it does then you're not using good uh, acrylics but this is it this was the final final uh, cleanup as you can see it's now it's evenly um, you don't see any spots of the silicone anymore so that's what you want to go for nice and smooth now I don't varnish it straight away what I like to wait for is that it is totally dry because by rinsing sometimes the back gets wet too so I just put it away and um, one or two weeks usually two but that's because I got lots of other stuff to do but if you're uh, in a hurry you could put it outside if there if, it, if the weather's uh, okay and it will dry in a couple of days and then you can varnish it but I just put it aside wait two weeks and then varnish Holland is sort of you know well I'll show you in a bit what it looks like today it was gonna be a beautiful day today a lot of Sun and they were all everyone was excited because they had everything planned this weekend barbecues and I don't know what but looking outside I think I'd rather be painting so um, this is um, this is how I clean my canvases, and you read Dreft, but it's Dawn dish soap, same thing. Uh, even says it's three times active for grease fat. That's what we call grease fat. Very close to fat, so 
you know where it comes from okay nice look at that that is beautifully clean no spots whatsoever okay let's put that away uh, there's one other thing uh, I wanted to uh, get back a golden oldie but first I wanted to show you the the one I did um, the last week this one with those really cool ribbons on them I really like the ribbons I like this whole piece here we put on a little glitter you can just see it a little bit on the monitor usually you know in real life you see it better this is the holographic glitter that's really cute this is really nice the these ribbons here like I said it went straight over the side this side I really liked with the little cell action here and there were two sides that were a little bit less but well it's okay it's only the sides and as you can see here um, how the the cells sort of swayed and went all over the place I kind of like that too and this the really broad ribbon that is really let me get you in focus there it is see that that is beautiful now it's only a 20 by 20 but um, it still is really uh, nice to look at it has uh, plenty of uh, pieces that pulls the eye and that's what you want to go for you don't want to all all the same because when it's all the same sometimes it's nice but more often it's sort of blah so you want to add something that pulls your attention and I thought this turned out really well I really like these feather cells don't know how I got them sometimes it's just a surprise but they look awesome too now for the golden oldie can we remember this one the big round one that I did on the uh, turntable thing yeah well a lot of people have watched this uh, video and uh, I just want to show you up close I still have it because no one will buy this in Holland <laughs> really if I were to put this on we have something that um, how do you call it Craigslist I, I guess Craigslist yeah we have something that's called marketplace where you can sell uh, everything you want to sell I will bet anyone that if I put this on there for like say 75 euros that that would be so freaking cheap because it's on uh, MDF and it's really big but if I was put that on there no one would buy it really I'm, I promise you that's really how it works here in Holland all the pieces I sell I sell to uh, Canada Australia USA um, let's see where else did I sell a piece yeah that's about it usually oh yeah and the UK of course but um, in Holland I have not ever sold a piece in Holland that is so freaking I'm thinking why on earth would people not buy that here I'm I, I just don't know but that's the way the cookie crumbles right yeah okay so here you see the uh, golden oldie it's one of my uh, I think it's up up there in the under the 100 number I'm not sure I thought I put it on the back but I didn't put anything on the back only my as you can see my signature and the uh, and the year I made it but I still like it it still has these awesome cells going on some big cells up here and uh, looking down on it it really looks beautiful but there's absolutely no one in Holland that buys this sort of art that's so strange to me or they're not used to it yet because it's just starting over here or people think mm, well don't want that hanging on my wall well too bad for you so that was the golden oldie now um, I was thinking uh, like I said just in the previous video that I was going to uh, mix up some paint but I'm sort of leaning towards a resin piece and I know a lot of people like that and with that I'd like to uh, pull your attention to someone else that I watch um, I watch their videos that they, they are a really cute couple um, it's the, their channel is called artist till death 
And um, I'd really uh, appreciate people uh, going over there and giving uh, a little look there and a little thumbs up. I'll write it down for you guys. But I gotta write it down on the bottom because this is my sponsor list. So their channel is our, oops, just till death. That's it, art is still death. And if you, f if you go search for them on YouTube, you'll find their channel and they do some awesome resin stuff. And why I'm mentioning, mentioning it is because some people have asked me about um, cells in resin. Well, if you go over there and you watch their, uh, I think it's their last video, they made a really a rectangle piece and there was a lot of cells, cells going on in the, in the resin. So, um, well, if you don't have anything to look at, pop over there and give them a thumbs up, subscribe because they are, um, they just started, but they have like, uh, 44,600 um uh subscribers so they can use a couple more so um go over there have some fun and look at what they're doing and she has a really cute little dog too and i just love that when i see a little dog in those videos though that really melts my heart it's such a cute little thing so um guys go over there watch it and have fun i'll be back and uh, i'm gonna be back with resin i'm pretty sure um, there's one thing that she, they also did is um, they did a white background with resin and they put uh, drops on it and I thought that was an awesome piece. That was really, really beautiful. So if you are curious to what I'm talking about, go over there and it's the one where it has all these dots in, this, in the resin. It's really awesome. So guys, see you later. I'm going to mix up some resin. Be right back. Bye-bye.